Hello and welcome to this walkthrough of our sales performance dashboard built in Power BI. In this short presentation, I'm gonna show you how this dashboard helps business professionals and decision makers. Like you, track sellers understand trends and make informed decisions faster. Everything is visual, interactive and designed to keep things simple. So you can focus on insights, not spreadsheets. Let's begin with the top three KPIs revenue year to date, items sold year to date, and orders year to date. These numbers update based on the selected months or year. You can instantly see the total revenue so far this year, how many items we have sold, and the number of orders received. More importantly, the dashboard shows the percentage change compared to the same period in the previous year, with arrows indicating growth or decline. This gives you a fast snapshots of whether we are improving or falling behind. If months isn't selected, you will see totals for the entire selected year. Next, we have a donut chart that breaks down orders by category, office supplies, furniture and technology. This helps answer very common business questions. Which product groups are performing best? Office supplies is leading her with around 45% of total orders. We can also use the slicer to switch this visual from category to region view, depending on what inside you need. That flexibility is powered by field parameters inside Power BI. Below that is a ribbon chart showing sales growth over four quarters. Each color band represents a product category and shows how much it contributes to total orders in each quarter. In the top right corner, we have a bar chart that shows the top five state by revenue. Each bar compares this year's performance to the previous year side by side. This helps us quickly identify which markets are driving the most sales and whether they are improving year over year. On the bottom left side, there is column chart showing total items sold and it is dynamically responsive to slicer that allows switching between month, week and quarter. This flexibility is powered by a field parameter giving users the ability to view the same metric across the different time dimension without needing separate visuals. Conditional formatting is applied across all time views, whether it's monthly, weekly or quarterly to highlight the maximum and minimum values clearly, making peaks and drops immediately noticeable. The subtitle dynamically summarizes how many total items were sold in the selected year and compares that the previous year, stating how much it increased or decreased. This chart is extremely helpful for understanding how item volume is trending and gives a fast performance comparison between different time periods. On the bottom right corner, we have a line chart that compares monthly revenue between the selected year and its previous year. The chart automatically identifies the previous year based on the selected one. For example, if 2017 is selected, the chart compares it to 2016. The solid lines represent the actually monthly revenue trends. When the selected year over performance, the previous year for a specific month, a marker appears on that point of the chart. Dynamic subtitle highlights exactly which months in the selected year have revenue above the previous year, giving you immediate insights into positive performance. This is quick and powerful way to identify when you are trending ahead or falling behind months over months. Hold the dashboard, I have used field parameters to allow dynamic interactivity. This means you can switch between different views, such as category, region, week, quarter, without needing extra visuals. It makes the dashboard more flexible and user-friendly, especially for decision makers who want fast answers. Now let's talk about the real business value of the dashboard, not just what it shows, but what it actually does for executive and business owners. First, it eliminates to need to open multiple reports or spreadsheets. Everything 
decision makers care about is her in one view. It saves time by highlighting trends instantly through clean visuals. It provides comparative context, not just raw numbers, but how you are doing compared to last year. But most importantly, this dashboard helps business leaders quickly spot weak areas, whether it's a decline category, region or month. Prepare for meetings or board review faster using dynamic visuals that explain the story. Delegate smarter since insights are easy to understand and share. React to market changes in near real time, reducing delay in decision making. Free up analyst time by reducing routine reporting tasks. So whether you are planning strategy, managing sales teams or presenting to investors, this dashboard gives you the clarity and speed needed to make confident data-driven decisions. Thank you for taking the time to explore this sales performance dashboard. Let your data work for you and help your team stay informed, aligned and ahead. If you have feedback, suggestions or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate your input and will use it to improve future dashboards and presentations. Thank you.